On May 20, it's several significant events occurred in history, but we want to talk about something that's relevant to us even today. Something that caught our attention was the birth of blue jeans in the year 1873. We all wear jeans today. Jeans came with the introduction of the word Genoese. We thought we'd take a little bit of an etymology deep dive. Genoese or jeans is describes, that word describes stuff trousers that were actually worn by sailors. And why is that word used? Because these were sailors who came from Genoa in Italy. Interestingly, it was the staple farm and industrial wear in the late 1800s and the mid-1900s. The year 1873 is important in history because denim was invented then by Jacob Davis and you've heard this name, Levi Strauss, in 1873. So that means uh, we consider May 20th, 1873 as the birthday of blue jeans in some form or the other because although denim pants had been around as workwear for several years, it was the act of placing the rivets in these traditional pants for the very first time that created uh, what we now call our jeans. So the next time you spot someone wearing those faded, rugged jeans and they've evolved over the period of time into uh, different versions and forms really or you see somebody wearing a Levi jean or any other brand, remember that these pants are the direct descendant of the first pair that was made back in 1873. Levi Strauss and uh, Jacob Davis turned denim thread and a uh, little metal into what has become the most popular apparel on earth. And jeans today, even now, still remains the, and has the title for America's favourite work pant. Right, and we love them across the world and we're going on and on about the history of jeans because our person of interest on TBC today is a young teen, Nirvan Sumani, who has come up with an initiative called Project Jeans. Nirvan is extremely passionate about the environment. He wanted to do something to help our planet and the underprivileged. He's gone viral with this initiative already. Take a look. Project Jeans. It's the social initiative of 17-year-old Nirvan, geared at tackling twin problems at the same time. Nirvan and his team take old jeans that you'd otherwise throw away and turn them into sleeping bags for the unhoused across the city. We sew these together okay. into a sleeping bag, like I'll just open it over here. So, um, this is how the end product looks All like. Alright, huh. Okay. And so these uh, strips are basically sewn together. How many jeans does it take to make one? It takes seven pairs of jeans to make one sleeping bag on average. But then that can vary a little bit based on the size of jeans that we get. In Delhi, at least because your operations are here, what happens in the summer? Do you find takers or do you do something else in the summer? Honestly, summer is the most important time for us because um, the winter in India is just about three or four months uh, where donating these would actually be viable especially in cities like Delhi so we have to focus on uh, creating enough sleeping bags by that time to not have to worry about the production as much mm. during uh, those months so the summer is when we focus on outreach on donations and actually building um, enough uh, sleeping bags to donate in the winter mm. This year-round initiative has been active since 2019. Till date, Nirvan says Project Jeans has given out 2,000 sleeping bags to the unhoused. He explains how the business end of all of this works. Like we're completely not for profit, but there is um, a cost in terms of the labor and uh, smaller things like the zip and lining uh, that we do have to cover. So um, the way the way the project works is. Um, once we have a sleeping bag ready, to actually go out and donate that uh, works in two primary ways. Firstly, you for example as an individual donor can buy uh, a certain number of sleeping bags that we send to you and then you can go out and donate that yourself. But the more popular option is that you provide us the funds to sponsor X number of people uh, like to have a more comfortable winter. and. Um, we go out and donate the sleeping bags on your behalf and we, we sell them for 800 rupees a sleeping bag. 
Nirvan initially came up with the idea when he read that a single pair of jeans took 10,000 liters of water to make. Years later, his project has found a way to fully utilize denim. And as he heads to college, we asked him what was next for the project. I want to expand this project globally as well. And we've already helped Turkey and Syria during the earthquake uh, crisis. We sent about 200 sleeping bags via the embassies uh, in India. And I'd like to um, find more uses for the sleeping bags around the world, not just necessary to help homeless people, but also things like refugees and victims of uh, crises like, uh, like they faced. So I think those would be the primary uh, branches in which we wish to go ahead. With video journalist Rama Shankar, this is Toya Singh.